Patty team. Well, it's uh, 10 p.m. at night and uh, I'm off in search of bioluminescence. You heard me right, bioluminescence. So this is the last good lighting that we're gonna have before it's basically all just gonna be various flashlights. We've got three different stops we're gonna make at um, like three different coves or bays, I guess you could say, in search for the bioluminescence. May I may have missed the window. Whether or not they're still around, that is what we're gonna go find out. So we've made it to Coles Bay, which is our, gonna be like our first stop in this journey to find the bioluminescence. Um, I chose the spot simply because it's the closest but it's also the darkest. But uh, I'm prepared to go into the water if I think it's gonna be, you know, worthwhile, but I'm setting my expectations low. I will have you know, <laughs> I'm in Cooper Island, we do have bears. And uh, let's just, they're only black bears, but they're still bears. When you hear rustling in the bushes, you never feel good about that. Yeah, so this is me walking in the forested area towards the water. My mom saw what I was doing now. She'd be utterly freaked out. Let's go touch the water and see if anything happens, yeah? Incredibly, I don't think there's any. I'm gonna set up a long exposure, maybe there's some. Also, this forest fire smoke is here. And that's really depressing. So much tragedy has happened this summer. But I'm completely going off topic. Uh, we're here for the bioluminescence, let's go. I have completely psyched myself out. I think it's safe to say that there are no glowworms here. So we have two other spots I'm gonna stop to take a look, but um, you know, maybe I just, maybe there's just nothing here. Uh, one thing I can say is it feels like as we're standing here, I can like see the smoke come in. It's, it's a little bit disconcerting, but okay, let's go, I'm scared. So we're off to our second stop, which is Patricia Bay, which is right near the airport and a naval base. So there's like a little bit more people and a little bit more light, but um, yeah, it's about seven minutes away. Let's go do it. Upon arrival at Patricia Bay, I stumbled down a rock face towards the water, broke half my flashlight on the way down, did a long exposure shot, saw nothing. And uh, at that point I decided it was a lost cause. Well, that was an adventure. Okay, so I know I said at the beginning of the video we we're gonna stop at three places, but the next place that I wanna stop at is about 20 minutes away, and because we haven't had luck these two times, I really don't feel we're gonna have luck this third time. There might be another option. Um, I saw on one of the websites that they actually do like a nighttime tour, a nighttime kayaking tour from the place that I was gonna go to. I'm thinking about maybe just doing that, and that'll be like my last hope. But it's okay. I'm gonna give those kayaking people a call tomorrow and see what they have to say because they're on the water often enough to be able to have a say. I would hope. You'd think. This is Brentwood. Is speaking? How can I help you? <clears throat> Hi there. Um, quick question. Um, do you know if the bioluminescence is still out? And if it is, do you guys do tours? Uh, the bioluminescence is still out, and we do tours. However. We're pretty much sold out um, for the rest of August and for most of September. We could put you on a wait list. Thank you so much. Right. Sounds good. You're on. Okay. Talk Bye. In a bit. Bye. Oh my God! There's still a chance. That's what I heard. That there's still a chance. Ah! Okay. I'm actually gonna see if there's any other kayak companies because I I know that there are, but they're gonna take a minute to get to. This was just the one that was like close to home. 
So we'll see if those other car companies have um, availability and then if they do, we'll just, we'll just pay the extra little bit to go out to them. Oh, I'm excited. It is now a week later to the day and let me just go through some uh, like progressions of the bioluminescence saga. The bioluminescence is in full bloom right now. It is, it is happening. I've been able to confirm that and I've also been able to confirm that it's not just like one week. Believe it or not, they start to see bioluminescence in like April, but it isn't in full bloom until like August and they have tours going into September as well. So I thought that was fascinating. I was able to find another kayak company on Salt Spring Island and that's where I am right now. It's Salt Spring Island. We've got about three hours into the tour, so in the meantime, we're just gonna hang out. My jacket is definitely too big. It feels like I'm choking. So we're just waiting for everyone to get in their kayaks and we'll go. Also, the tour guide said that I might not get it on camera, even with a long exposure, but um, I'm gonna give it a go. And uh, yeah, the uh, picture quality of this video is about to take a drastic turn. So just just bear with me. Uh, wooden area and that's Goat Island. We're gonna go there. Finally, everyone was on the water and we were off. We followed our guide, Mathieu, to the spot where we would be viewing the bioluminescence. But first, tea and cookies while Mathieu schooled us about bioluminescence. And they charge in solar energy during the daytime. So, um, they, and they transform this energy into a chemical, it's a chemical reaction in their body, like an enzyme reaction, and they transform it into light. Uh, when it's being moved. So if you touch it, it's gonna be moving. Mm. You're gonna see it the most in kind of hidden area from the moon, because the moon is gonna diminish it a bit. Mm -hmm. So really like darker corner. So yeah, that's what you wanna explore. Mm, yeah, that's what we are gonna be doing. Okay, just small round of applause for Mathieu because that was amazing and we did not expect tea or cookies. Like that was in no, listing or description of the tour at all so that was that was unexpected i'm gonna get going because they're getting too far away and it's getting dark out we didn't have to wait long before we got to experience what we came here for oh my god what okay you can't see it and the camera can't capture it when i put my hand in the water it looks like dancing little stars like it almost like your eyes are playing playing tricks on you but they're not <laughs> so cool. oh my God, we found them you guys we found them Alrighty, friends we're all coffeeed up and uh, I figured I'd wait until the daytime to be able to talk about the bioluminescence because it was uh, super dark out and you know, that's just no fun. It was truly incredible. I don't even know where to begin. Dark and in the coves is best and as it got darker and in like darker areas like out of the light and out of the moon, um, you definitely got like the full effect and to the point where like even the kayak breaking the water you could see like a blue stream on either side of the kayak and um, like the water that was dripping off the kayak paddle that would hit the water would just these like bursts of blue and it just it was so phenomenal and you'd put your hand deep into the water your entire arm was like lit up it had stardust all over it it's the closest thing that I can kind of describe it as is like as if it was like stardust fully worth the $120 that I paid <laughs> plus the ferry ticket 100% worth it and I'm really glad that I actually went on a tour first because a I got to learn some stuff but B I was doing it wrong during my first two attempts <sighs> it feels like a, a minorly anticlimactic way to end the video but uh, at least we can say we did find bioluminescence it's absolutely phenomenal and yes you should absolutely go and check it out for yourselves anyway uh, I hope to see you next week. Bye. I'm really, high. I'm really struggling with one of these lights, yo. I don't know why. Check out, so I got my sneaky GoPro right in there. I feel real sneaky. Excellent. How about yourself? It's okay. I <laughs> suffer. I, I, uh, right now, 
I'm just talking in case there's any bears that are close in the vicinity. 